It's unclear exactly how many people have been detained at U.S. airports this weekend or how many have been released. But this is certain. President Trump's travel and immigration crackdown on people from seven Muslim-majority countries has caused chaos and confusion and sparked intense protests. The ACLU says 4,000 attorneys are working in shifts at the airports to get people released. An Iranian-born green card holder says he was detained for several hours today after getting off a cruise ship in Fort Lauderdale. We have a team of correspondents covering this, beginning with Kenneth Craig. At airports across the country, international travelers detained by authorities received a warm welcome as they stepped onto U.S. soil. For some, there were tears, like this Iraqi woman who was reunited with her son, a U.S. Army Ranger, after hours of uncertainty at JFK. Iranian-Canadian Hana Tahe says she was held and questioned for five hours. I was born in um, Tehran, um, have, and they, they were asking further information about that, uh, my parents from there, all that. Their release comes after federal judges in several states worked through the night issuing various rulings halting portions of President Donald Trump's sweeping travel ban. The first lawsuit was filed quickly Saturday on behalf of two Iraqi men detained at JFK. God bless you all. Federal rulings out of Massachusetts, Virginia, and Washington state also sided with challengers to the executive order. CBS News justice reporter Paula Reed. The White House could argue that these orders only apply to people who came in that first 24 hours, that chaotic time period immediately after the president's executive action, and that going forward, the law should still be applied to anyone else. With the stroke of a pen, President Trump implemented the executive order Friday. It puts a four-month hold on all refugees settling in the U.S. and a 90-day ban for visitors from seven Muslim-majority nations. The State Department issued a notice telling citizens of those countries not to schedule a visa appointment or try to enter a U.S. embassy or consulate. The executive order also blocks all Syrian refugees indefinitely. Airports were swept into chaos and protests this weekend, but it wasn't just travelers who found themselves in limbo. Emirates and Etihad Airlines were forced to change their crews because the order also applies to airline employees. This morning, Reince Priebus suggested President Trump's order as it stands may be just the beginning. You can point to other countries that have similar problems like Pakistan and others. Perhaps we need to, to take it further, but for now, immediate steps, right. pulling the Band-Aid off, is to do further vetting for people traveling in and out of those countries. The chief of staff went on to say that this order does not apply to green card holders from those banned countries, but they should expect extra questioning once they arrive here at the airport. The order sparked huge protests here at JFK and airports around the country.